white sweater with a white background. Is it a choice? Am I gonna look like a floating head? Or am I serving like in sync Christmas cover? Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I spent way too much money at Sephora. But it is currently the friends and family sale, so I took advantage of the 20% off. But I wanted to show you everything I picked up because the Sephora VIB sale is starting the end of the month. I believe the 28th, it starts with VIB Rouge members and then goes to VIB and then goes to Beauty Insider. So I wanted to show you everything I picked up because obviously this is stuff that I've been stalking for a very long time time or I've used before and I just re-upped because I ran out of it so I felt like sharing this with you would be really good before the sale so if you guys want to pick any of this stuff up you have an opportunity coming up very soon to pick it up and save some coin. As always guys make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are already subscribed hit the little notification bell right next to the subscription button and you'll be notified every single time I post. I post every single day you do not want to miss out. All right, let's dive in. So first and foremost, my lips have been in pain. I don't know what it is. They are so dry. And yes, I've tried Vaseline. I've tried everything. And I've had my eye on this for a while, picked it up. I've been putting it on and it is as good as the hype. This is the Laneige, Laneige, I don't know, sleeping lip mask. So I know the berry is like the original and that is in the 16 ounce here. So I was going in just for this one. So in this set, you're getting the normal 20 grams. This is the original. And then you're getting two small eight grams, which normally the 20 gram is $24. So with this set, this is only $32 for all three of these. So you're saving, it's a $43 value. So you're saving $11. So I was like, why not pick up these set? Cause then I can put the small one in my car and just, I don't know, have more cause it's more bang for your buck. This truly has like saved my lips. It's the only thing I've been putting on. And when the product like wears off, it's actually feeling better. It's not just back to being dry, it's especially putting this on a very, thick healthy layer before bed I wake up and they just feel so much better so this amazing all right now let's get into the heavy stuff let's just go right in with the thing that made my wallet light on fire yes two Pat McGrath palettes I couldn't resist I was in the store and I had my eye on a different palette which I didn't buy that day and then just went back today and bought it <laughs> but I blame Patty Alonzo here on YouTube I love her I am friends with her she is like the queen of using Pat McGrath palettes and they always look so stunning on her and to be honest I hadn't even really like touched one until I was in the store and I touched it and I was like, why haven't I gotten this before? So the first one I picked up is the Mothership number nine palette. So the packaging is beyond worth the price tag. This is the second newest. There is a 10 that came out and I just liked the nine better. So this is what the color story looks like. I mean, my god it is absolutely to die for so i'm not really going to go into too much detail like swatching and showing these colors on the skin because there is actually a pat mcgrath sale coming up i believe the week before the vib sale and i'm probably going to go harder like getting more pat mcgrath stuff and i'm going to save this for a dedicated like pat mcgrath video and then i picked up the number five mothership palette this one is all like really beautiful warm neutrals like Mm -mm -mm. look at her both of these like scream fall they're so stunning but like i said i'm gonna go harder when that pat mcgrath sale comes so i'm gonna do a whole video all about pat mcgrath makeup all these eyeshadows swatch them for you show you do looks with everything so stay tuned for that all right keeping the pat mcgrath train rolling on this is the new holiday blush palette from her this year this is the divine blush and glow cheek palette in the shade nude venus there is also another one divine rose that's more cool tone i really want to get that one but for for some reason this is the only one available at Sephora. The cool tone one is only on the website so I'm gonna wait for the sale to pick that up. The more warm tone one, get ready for this, is absolutely breathtaking. Like I said there's more warm tones in this and I would say that the highlighter in this one is definitely more golden compared to the cool tone one but the rose stamping is gorgeous. The formula is gorgeous. Cannot wait to use this. Then I picked up the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. Play with this in the store, put this on my hand, and holy god, it was gorgeous. 
Nope. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna have to cut it. All right, got it open. So this is what the powder looks like. This is just the most smooth. When I tell you, you rub this on the skin and it literally blurs the texture, everything. This is specifically an under eye powder and they have a white, this is the yellow, and then they have a medium and a deep. I bought the yellow because I'm actually gonna see myself like using this on the face, not just the under eyes. So I didn't wanna get the white because that would be nuts. So I really think this would work on my under eyes and the face. So this, beyond excited, Anything that is smoothing, especially for my texture, is a dream come true for me, so I cannot wait to try this. Moving right along, we have the new Natasha Denona palette. This is the My Dream palette, and my god, is this appropriately named. Let's open this bad boy up. Talk about a perfect palette for fall. And I've never purchased a Natasha Denona palette before, and this one just spoke to me. It's something about the neutrals and the pinks and the purples. There is even a touch of green in here. It's just so gorgeous for fall and this is probably the one I'm gonna film with right after this because I'm just obsessed. All right, and this was actually a restock for me. This is the Fenty Skin Pre-Show Glow. So this comes with the applicator, like the mitt to use it. And then this is what it looks like. So this is a AHA chemical exfoliator. And my God, is this my all time favorite exfoliator. If you use this once a week with the mitt, put the littlest bit, one bottle, even though this looks small, lasted me like, oh my God, maybe six months, I wanna say. The littlest bit on the mitt, warm water, work it into the skin, especially areas you get very dry and flaky for like 30 to 60 seconds. Your skin comes out looking like glass. I use this every single time before I film, but even just using this once a week, your skin will be next level. I actually like sold my sister on this because she was sending me pictures of her skin and I could just tell it looked very dry. There was a buildup of dead skin. I ordered this for her. She tried it. Night and day of a difference as far as texture goes and it's just phenomenal. So like I said, I went through a bottle already and I picked up another one. Then I picked up one of the liquid eyeshadows. This is the Eye Popper Sparkle Vision Eyeshadow from One Size Beauty. This is what the packaging looks like. It's absolutely stunning. This is in the shade Everything and More. And the reason I love this so much, whenever I'm in a store and I'm like swatching liquid eyeshadows, I always put a powder eyeshadow down on my hand first and then put it on top because I really use liquid eyeshadows as like toppers to really just amp up a powder eyeshadow. I rarely use them on their own unless it's like a very deep shade. I want to make sure that the liquid eyeshadow isn't going to take off and remove the powder eyeshadow underneath because there's a couple liquid eyeshadow brands that I've used before that are just really disappointing like Kimchi Chic Beauty or the House Labs paints and I go to press it over my eye look and the oils that is in them just removes the powder underneath and that sucks. So this one did not, and my God, is this shade so stunning. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on camera, but it has a gorgeous, like, pinky champagne with golden glitter reflex. It's just so right up my alley. Then I picked up two new nude lipsticks. That is a tongue twister. This first one is from Huda Beauty, which this plastic packaging could literally cut you. It's so sharp. And then the second one is from Too Faced. So the Too Faced one is part of the Coco Bold, like new collection. And this is in the color Hot Chocolate. This is what the component looks like. It's so beautiful. It even has like a magnet clothes. It's just so good. So this is what the color of this one looks like. I'll go ahead and swatch this. Oh god, it's creamy. That is what the Too Faced one looks like. This one is a little bit more brown. Everything in this line is more brown. This is like one of the more nude ones though. And I would say this one has like a soft like satin finish. It's more full coverage. It doesn't have like a super shine like the Huda Beauty does. This is part of the Bossy Browns line and this is the fairest like most nude one because this is definitely one I would do with like a darker lip liner and ombre it in. This is in the color Empress. So that is what this one looks like on its own. So that is the Huda next to the Too Faced. As you can see now this one the Huda is definitely more of like a warm tone nude. Something I would definitely use in the center just to kind of highlight the lips with a darker lip liner. But both of these formulas are just stunning. And home stretch of these Sephora purchases I finally got my hands on the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. We've heard it, we've loved it, 
this is what it looks like. I've already swatched it. I put it back in the box, don't worry. But I picked it up in the shade medium. So this is like a weird powder cream hybrid and it's supposed to be creamy and effortlessly easy. So I will definitely be using this in a upcoming video, if not the next video. So keep an eye out for this one. But it really just is insanely creamy. Goes on like a dream, blends out like butter. And they're really cool tone, beautiful cool tone colors. So it really looks more like a contour rather than looking too orangey and summer is over we don't want to kind of stick with those warm tone bronzers anymore so I'm really wanting to pivot into the cool tones and these colors are gorgeous and last but not least from House Labs by Lady Gaga I picked up recently and I included it in my House Labs Triclone Foundation review which I will pop right on up one of the sides, you'll see it pop up. I included that I bought one of the highlighters and that was like more of a highlighter shade for me. Then I just saw so many people raving about the shade Rose Quartz, which is this beautiful pink. Yeah, like, mm, 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 is she stunning? And people have literally been using this as like a blush topper. Normally, I would never use a highlighter that much in this area. I can testify from even the first highlighter formula. This is one of the most buttery, gorgeous, like smooth formulas. I would put this as a blush topper where you don't want like a champagne-y highlight if you really want that blush to be the star of the show when it comes to adding the glow back in. So I'm dying to try this out. I'm gonna throw in a couple products that I picked up from Morphe and Ulta. From Ulta, I picked up the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear bronzer. This is not new. This has been out for about, I don't know, maybe two months, but I picked it up because they finally had it in store at my Ulta, and I just thought it had the most beautiful, neutral tone to it, like, which I'm always looking for, like I said, especially for fall and winter. This is what I have on my skin right now, and I'm just so in love with this formula. It's so nice if you're at the drugstore, and it's hella affordable. And then I also picked up from L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. I actually picked this up because of Bethany Frankel on TikTok. I'm a housewife fanatic. And if you are, dear God, sound off in the comments, especially about Beverly Hills this season, because I'm in love. But I picked this up because I'm obsessed with her reviews on TikTok and Instagram. She is so, like, no BS, and she talked about loving this mascara. The main reason I wanted to pick this up is because this one actually has a ability, the wand bends, so you can put mascara on like this. And the reason I wanted to try this is because as a bridal makeup artist, I'm always using disposable mascara wands. And I actually apply mascara mascara on clients by putting it in and bending it before I put it on because I find mascara is much easier to apply from underneath rather than coming from the side where I always like could hit the nose or just make a mess. This is one of the only mascaras that really gives you that bending ability, especially for the price, the drugstore price. So I'm super excited to try this out. From Morphe, they are having a 40% off like everything sale. Morphe brushes are just the goat when it comes to affordability and quality. So I I picked up a couple brushes. Some of these I've had for a very long time and other ones are new. I picked up three of the Jacqueline brushes. So this one in the center is a fluffy blending brush. And then this one is more of a domed brush to pack glitter or whatever you're packing on the lid. And then this one is a contour brush that is so perfect for the nose. Like you can see how pinched it is. So you can literally run this down contouring the nose or even building up any contour. It's just a super unique detailed brush. And then these three brushes are part of a new series that they came out with. So I'm like super surprised that it was part of the 40% off, but I got three, woo, I got three of them. Oh, I threw them out of the box and there is no information on the brushes themselves. So let me figure out what, what these are called. Alrighty, so first we have the V205, a domed blending brush, and it is pinched a little bit. This one is would be so perfect for blending out shadow and detailed work in the crease. The next one is the V206 domed crease, which is this one. I'll hold it next to the first one I just did 
so you can see the difference. It's just a little bit smaller and more pinched than the other one. This is something I would use to pack the darkest color out on the outside of the lid. And lastly, this is the V103 Tapered Concealer Brush. So I loved that this was so flat, but also came to that point for carving out the brows or even applying concealer under the eye. And these are part of the new vegan set. I don't know if I mentioned that they're vegan. I would also say, and I wanna include, especially because this is kind of like getting rolled into a what to buy at the Sephora VIB sale coming up, I would also recommend checking out the new House Labs foundation, the highlighters, the bronzers. The new foundation is to die for if you have dry, mature, or combination skin. And the powders are super lightweight and blurring as well. I would also check out the new Milk Makeup Future Fluid Concealer. I've been using that in a ton of videos and I'm so obsessed with that formula. It really is like a gorgeous medium coverage that just looks like a second skin. It is so flawless, even on mature skin. I've been using it on clients for the past couple weeks and I'm just in love with the formula. I would also recommend the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. This is another one of my absolute holy grails. If you have dry or mature skin, even to be honest, if you have combination and oily. This holds up well. This is a go-to for me. I wear this to events. It is so beautiful, so lightweight. If you need a new, like, everyday, but something that could also be beefed up into, like, a full makeup or just event kind of a thing, 10 out of 10. This is also available at Sephora. And then lastly, in the skincare department, I gotta give a shout out to this routine I've been using from Caudalie. So Caudalie is a little bit more expensive, but with a sale coming up, this is definitely something you can save some money on. This is the Vino Perfect Serum. I have been using this for about three weeks. I try a lot of skincare. I get sent a lot of skincare. Nothing has given me such quick, immediate results as this entire routine has. And like I said, it's been three weeks, almost a month, so I've given this a fair shot to see a difference. Not only has it been so quick, but when I wake up using this serum, my skin is so even in tone. Redness has virtually completely dissipated and disappeared. My skin is so even. It is just so much brighter, more awake when I wake up. I been floored by this. This beyond recommend. And then these are the big boys. This is the Caudalie Premier Crew, I believe it's called, moisturizer. This is the eye cream that goes with this moisturizer. So this is incredibly anti-aging, like incredibly. And I'm going to make a claim here and say I've been using this for three weeks and I have literally seen a reduction in my forehead lines. Like obviously I'm, you know, expressing right now. So you're going to see the lines more, but when I relax my face, the two lines here have started to kind of show even when my forehead is relaxed. And this moisturizer and eye cream, even under here, has, in my opinion, already started to smooth out and reduce the appearance of those lines when my forehead is stationary. That's how powerful these three products are. So if you want something really, really worth it, that is going to give you almost immediate results, really anti-aging. And the only reason I'm really including this is because with the sale coming up, this is definitely something you can get your hands on and save a little bit of money. But yeah, guys, that is it for this huge, massive, enormous Sephora haul, as well as my recommendations for the upcoming VIB sale. I hope there is something in this you guys are excited to try. If there's also something you have your eye on for the sale, make sure to let me know down in the comments because I'm also probably going to be going back for the sale and picking up more stuff. So I'm always looking for good recommendations. As always, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are already, hit the little notification bell and you'll be notified every single time I post. Wherever you guys are, I hope you are happy, safe, and healthy, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.